What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I have a weekend vlog to show you from our stay at Cook Forest State Park in uh, Pennsylvania. It was absolutely stunning. We went mushrooming, we cooked, we had some dumpster food, uh, and it was just a very peaceful weekend there. So I can't wait to show y'all. We are headed to New York right now, which is very exciting. It's all right, hope y'all enjoy. Good morning, you guys. We are in Cook Forest State Park right now in Pennsylvania. We woke up this morning and it was raining and so we sat by the fire and read and now it's clearing up outside so we're on a hike. I'm like already out of breath. The trailhead starts just like right there where the pavement is but it's so steep and we've been stopping like every five seconds because there's mushrooms everywhere. It's so beautiful here. This is the Cathedral Forest, and it's some of the like oldest and biggest trees on the East Coast, um, or over in the like New England area. And so I'm really excited to see them. It's beautiful already. I don't know, but this looks like an Anita. It might be a death cat. Oh, what's that Or a destroying angel, the two most deadliest mushrooms. Oh my god, is it okay that you touched it? Yeah, they're fine to touch. They're just po very, very poisonous if ingested. Wow. One will kill you. We love looking for mushrooms on the trails whenever we hike. And we've done it in like all the states that we've camped in. We've looked for them and in North Carolina and stuff. But so far, Pennsylvania has the most. Like we just hiked a little ways off of our campground yesterday because we stayed here yesterday too. Um, and there were like so many just immediately off of where we were camping. And now we're actually like out here in the main park uh, doing this trail. And there's a ton and there's so many different species. It's really cool. It's awesome to look for them as we walk. It like gives you something to do as you're doing the trail. It's really fun. Oh, here's some. Look at these. Alex knows more about them than I do, but these are really pretty. So I hope y'all like hiking and <laughs> looking at mushrooms. And I brought a bag here to pick up trash. So we're gonna pick up trash if we see it, but so far I haven't seen any. It's a very clean park, but whew, it's awesome. They are kind of looking like like a type of chanterelle or an oyster mushroom. I thought oyster too when I saw them. I might have just seen the first piece of trash on the trail. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's a water bottle or something fully buried. Oh, oh gross. <laughs> it still has like juice in it or something. Oh, that's on there good. Iced tea, gross. There we go. First piece of trash and immediately second piece of trash. There we go. <laughs> oh, these are growing off the end. Oh, yeah. Smells so good. Wow, that one looks like a storybook mushroom. Yeah, I think it is not. <laughs> because it doesn't have a veil that's broken down and forms the ring around it. Mm. Which means it's not an Anita. We're going back to the car because we're both hungry and we're like feeling lightheaded. So we're like, let's stop the trail and go back and then we'll come back. And we spotted this one that we missed on the way up. It's huge. 
Roger. <laughs> the commitment. <laughs> dumpster oranges are hitting the spot right now we got peanuts and then we're going back up the trail <laughs> okay we're going back up now we had our snack it's um a lot harder to do when you're not stopping every five seconds to look at mushrooms Whew. i've never found corals they really do just look like underwater corals yeah good eye eh? <gasps> How big did you say they were? Some of them are 180 feet tall, and some of them are three feet in diameter. Jeez. Those are like the bigger. We're getting close. Yeah, you can kind of tell. Man, that's cool. That's true. It's nice to be here. <laughs> yes. You really have to work for it, especially if you leave your oranges in the <laughs> A lesson for the channel. <laughs> Never leave your oranges in the truck. For real though, like we should have known better than to not bring any snacks at all. But it also granted, trails, yeah, so. it never said anywhere that it was like very strenuous. So <laughs> that's not all on us. That is huge. I want to stand in front of it. Because we're right here now. So we at, walked clear through the forest? At Indian Trail and Road and Den 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 Den. <laughs> and right here is the old growth tall boys. There's two spots where you can find tall boys. Here and here. Oh, and is it just one tree that you can find? I don't think for? it's one tree. I think it's just the area with the tallest boys. It turns out we already went through the um cathedral forest and some of these trees are just the 180 foot tall trees so we thought earlier maybe one of them that we saw was like huge um but we didn't think we'd made it to the forest yet and so we didn't go like investigate it at all but you want to backtrack a little we could go try to see one i also kind of thought that one right there looked big that's like right there because it's like really tall yeah go up to the base and point to the top and see how tall it is okay all right let's go you guys <laughs> we're gonna find ourselves an old tree <laughs> oh wow oh my gosh it's super tall okay there it is yeah i saw one like this back there that also seemed about that tall and i'll be honest it's hard for me to guess how tall it is yeah Block. Yeah, the branches. But imagine it if it was fallen and it was laying flat. That would go from like here to over oh, there. 180 feet. It would go 180 feet that way. I can tell that from here. Oh, for sure. Wow. Three feet. Definitely three feet. About. <laughs> out wow yeah also it has this yellow stripe around it and i feel like that might be an identifier oh wow and see how it's like a big ass tree right next to it yeah it's like they're using These are that the ones that i think are old growth and i saw one of those earlier too wow i just didn't know if it was just like a trail marker but it's only on these really big ones they're beautiful yeah, I mean, definitely climb to the top. I think you should. I definitely think that you could. Did you give me a boost to this first one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can screw you up the rest. No problem. No problem. We're going the wrong way. Where? Oh, because this is the Rotterdam Trail, <laughs> and that's the Indian Trail. Are we going down the Indian Trail, or are we going? Do you want to go back? No, because I saw one now. Okay. Look, I bet that's another one. Yeah. I think it is just those huge... Oh, look at all these mushrooms. These are speckled and interesting. I don't know that I've seen any like this. 
They kind of look like the ones you showed me this morning that looked like owls. Oh, Hawkeye or Hawk wing? Is that what maybe they are? Hawk feather. They don't look quite the same. Wow, that one's very tall. Oh yeah, he's got some of the little whiskers too. Yeah. He does not want to be bothered. No. Thank you for your time, sir. Pennsylvania is definitely like one of my favorite states I've ever been to. The drive up here was gorgeous. Like just like farmhouses and rolling hills and beautiful fall trees. Like the colors are changing. You can literally see the leaves falling. It's beautiful. It is so like, what's it called? Jelly. Jelly. Yeah, it's jelly, look at it. It's a jelly mushroom. I don't know what type, but. Wow. And they're so pink. pink is, they're beautiful. And against that moss. Yeah, it's really Ooh. nice. Ooh, <laughs> so it's a polypore? Yeah, it this a is a polypore. So it doesn't have gills, it has little pores. And then each of these, you can kind of see almost in here. Each of these are like tubes that go into yeah, the Yeah, it's kind of like honeycomb. Yeah. It's like kind of what it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. So that's how it releases its spores out of each of those little pockets. Me neither. It doesn't even like know where it is. Because they're a part of the teethed mushroom family. But they're gelatinous and then they have the little fuzzy teeth on the bottom. They're very gelatinous. <laughs> <laughs> wow, baby. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, they're like so squishy. Oh, there's several more right here. Yeah, How cool. cool. Oh, that one's flipped upside down, huh? Yeah, look. Oh my god, shake it again. So wobbly. Well, <laughs> it seriously feels like rubber. Yeah, it looks like a little piece of like raw chicken or something. Yeah, or like fish. Yeah. Oh my god. It really is kind of slippery. Yeah. Very cool. That is very cool. There we go. Wow. Look at it. It's like they shoved it down in here. I'm scared to reach my hand in there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Sam's Cola. I haven't found much trash on this trail, but. Uh -oh, there's more. Oh no. Once you see it, then you see it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Keep your fingers ready to grab more. <laughs> Keep them ready. <laughs> Put both hands out. <laughs> it's like a player game. What? <laughs> what? Trash on this trail. I hope so. I guess ideally I don't hope so because that means someone littered. Well, I know someone is littered, and so <laughs> ideally I hope we find it. <laughs> Vote for who you think is right. <laughs> is it ideally that we don't find it or ideally, <laughs> ideally that we do? do find it? Let us know. Let us know in the comments if we should hope to find litter in state parks. <laughs> or if we should hope that people don't litter in state parks. Dang, this is gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. <laughs> and Incredible. that? <laughs> That's a testament to state parks. <laughs> that is a testament to state parks. Check, 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 check. What? Oh, a water bottle? How are you going to get down there? Okay, be careful and hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Nice. Well, yeah, nice. Well, you voted that we hoped we didn't find trash. You were wrong. You were wrong. Because there was a bottle to be found. How dare you wish that we leave trash unknown in the state park. I did too, so. Yeah. Two crimes. Silver crime. People love to shove the trash down in the trees like someone's not going to see it. Yeah, like that's somehow better. What is this one? This is a twist, a strawberry lemonade shoved into the burrow of a small animal. <laughs> Here we go. I wonder if it's gonna wobble. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it does kind of wobble. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it feels like I'm on like a Six Flags ride. Whoa. Now I gotta go over it again. Let's ride it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's fast walking over it. Wow, look at that bee's nest. It's hard to hold it still, but. Okay, we finished the trail um, and we only have like one bundle of firewood. And earlier we drove by the state park sells firewood right here um and it was totally empty but we're on our way back now and it's restocked which is great because we were gonna run out before dinner so we're gonna go get it Okay, we got our bundle. There's 20 for the top or 25 for the bottom, but the top is plenty for our last night. I didn't, I didn't see these. I don't know if we needed $20. I think we oh. might. Oh! see that you could get smaller. $5 ones, me neither. Well, there we go. Well, we're gonna head back to the campsite and probably eat some type of lunch because I'm really hungry after that hike. We were gone maybe since, it was like noon when we got there, right? So it's like, yeah three hours and 45 minutes on that trail or something that's way too long i feel like that's too no, much that's about right because 12 to 1 we did the eight flights of stairs on our oh you're right <laughs> i held up dang all right well there we go we're hungry we're going back <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> oh no, it's raking. He's coming back. Well, good morning. It is our second day of waking up here and last night was very cold, um, but we survived and it actually was like a pretty nice sleep, but we did decide we're probably gonna need to get another blanket. So we might have to go thrifting at the next town that we're in, but it's a beautiful morning. We've got a fire going. We have our coffees this morning and we're gonna uh, spend a little time hanging out by the fire, but then we're gonna pack up camp and head to New York, which is a brand new city for me. Alex has spent a day in New York City, but we're like going all up through the upper, uh, what's called upstate New York. And so that's gonna be new for both of us. I am very excited to see it. So we're just gonna hang out here uh, and relax a little this morning and then we will get on the road. We uh, 
uh, packed up our campsite and we're driving through the most scenic like view of these trees um, in this mountain. It's just like rolling hills. The leaves are really changing. Texas doesn't really have seasons like this and so it's kind of shocking that trees turn this red um, and like this bright. So it's very beautiful. So we are headed into New York. Um, we're gonna be to Jamestown in about an hour and a half. I'm pretty excited. When we first got married, I think I've told this story maybe on a live before, but when we first got married um, in 2013, we went on like a, our honeymoon road trip and we lived in our van. Um, her name was Doris and we just like drove around the country in Doris and um, we went to a lot of states. Wow, there's like a beautiful church right there. Dang, that's cool. Um, and we, I think we went to, I've always said like 36 of the states, but that actually sounds like too many now. Um, but we did all the West Coast. And so we went um, all the Southern states, the West Coast, and then like the New England states are the ones that we didn't end up getting to. Uh, we actually even tried to go not for our honeymoon. We went when a year after? When did we go up into Chicago? Yeah, so maybe like 2015, that actually sounds right. Um, we tried to finish it and we were gonna finish the continental lower 48 states. Um, and we got all the way up um, into Michigan and we were driving and we were headed for Detroit and we slid off the road. Um, we hit black ice and our whole van and everything, we like 360 spun off into the ditch. And so all of us and like Pilg was with us and we all just like bundled into our zero degree sleeping bag and we waited like four hours for AAA to come and rescue us because um, they just had like they were super backed up because everyone I guess was sliding off the road well so it kind of was scary and we like just drove back to Texas we were like we shouldn't be up here in the winter time I think that was in December we were doing that and so we just never we never finished it and so it's actually pretty cool this trip we left on the same day we left um, on our original honeymoon trip which was September 21st because that's our wedding anniversary and we didn't plan to do it that way for this trip but it just kind of happened um that we like had to wait around to get my truck fixed and we actually planned to leave earlier but then we just ended up leaving on the same day on our anniversary um and we drove to detroit and then from detroit we've gone uh to i don't even know ohio indiana illinois michigan pennsylvania oklahoma um, and now we are headed to New York. So it's very awesome. I, I think that we'll be able to finish the New England states um, and then we'll literally have North Dakota left along with Alaska and Hawaii. North Dakota, for some reason, we, what happened? We totally skipped it. We went to South Dakota. It's because um, we were cutting. It's whenever we realized that we were the first trip when we realized we wanted to get out of the cold weather. We were headed east headed southeast so we cut down from mm. like Montana, Wyoming and we cut through South Dakota but then we came down through Nebraska and Kansas back to Texas. That's right. And then we went to the south so we just barely missed it by like That's like, right. So it's like funny because now we've done all the states all around it and we'll have to go back um, and do North Dakota but we're kind of wanting to drive to Alaska and so we might um after this trip whenever we might um, drive to Alaska and then we'll try to cut up and hit North Dakota so that we've seen that um, and then drive to Alaska uh, and then we'll just have Hawaii left which will be fun we love being out on the road and this trip has been like very peaceful and relaxing and it's a lot of driving it's a lot of like finding coffee shops to sit and edit videos at um, but it's like it's been very um Kind of just exactly what we've needed. Very rejuvenating. It is a fall festival. No wonder it's so busy. Yeah, it is a jam-packed fall festival. Wow, it honestly is jam-packed. Oh, there's like, oh my goodness, it's like not just a fall festival. <gasps> They're chopping wood. They're like, um... It's like a lumberjack competition. Oh my god, it is a lumberjack competition. It's a cool little building. This is a neat little town. He like doesn't even say it, it just says east and west. So. I know. Dang, that is sweet. They have like a whole cemetery. 
I love all the big standing figures. Like we always decorate the inside. In Texas, does it like how they do it up here? So cool. It's beck and call. No, I'm not gonna answer just right now. Sometimes you answer the call of Aldi, sometimes you keep on driving. <laughs> sometimes you say, honestly, we have so much fruit from them. <laughs> it has been um, really fantastic getting all of our fruit from the dumpsters. Uh, we've definitely been eating them. We have more actually that we need to wash right now and add to like the bin. Yeah, I just think you can do it. We're about to pass it. We're about to be in New York. Here we go. Hold on. Welcome to New York. <laughs> now you're in Jamestown. <laughs> Dang, would you want to just park and we could just walk this little street? Oh, there's the Lucy. I love Lucy Museum. She's from here. From Jamestown. Lucille Ball was, yeah. yeah that's funny. Some art galleries, a cool church. Oh, and they have a thrift, St. Luke's thrift shop. That's cool. <laughs> Dang! That would have been sick. <laughs> Ooh, that's a cool store. So it's Sunday and it kind of seems like everything is closed on Sundays. But we did get coffees and we're walking around. There's so much <laughs> I love Lucy stuff. <laughs> this is a cool little main street. We're dumpster diving um, here in the morning whenever we wake up tomorrow, but we were just scouting some places and we saw this sign, which I've never seen a sign like this. It actually says no dumpster diving on it. So that's kind of wild. Um, we'll see if we abide by that, but I'm curious if all the stores will have that or if it's just these two right here, but I've actually never seen a sign that specifically says no dumpster diving. Hmm. Okay, well, we walked around uh, Jamestown downtown for a little while. So we're just gonna get some iced teas and I'm gonna start working on this vlog right now so that I can get it up. So there we go, we are going dumpster diving in the morning. So stay tuned for that video, super excited. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. We had so much fun uh, in the state park. It was just beautiful. And like I said, it was just a perfect, like very relaxing two days. So it was just what we needed. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you very soon. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.